So I've got this old wheelbarrow and I'm going to make it into a garden planter. I'm just going to make a start by cleaning up a little bit and treating some of the rust on it. Got a wire brush, I'm going to brush down these rusty bits. So there's quite a lot of concrete stuck in it and I've just hammered a lot of it out. I'm just scraping it out I'm just going to try and smooth it out the best I can. I'm not making a big deal out of the middle part of it because um, obviously that's where the soil is going to go for the planter. So I just want some nice smooth edges. Uh, I'm just tidying it up a little bit. So I've kind of chiselled and scraped away as much as I can. Um, I've got this P60 rough sandpaper so I'm just going to go over it with that and smooth it out a little bit especially where the uh, the rusty edges are just smooth them out a little bit so on the frame I've just put some red oxide primer because um, that's where a lot of the rust bits were um, and especially across this bar here so hopefully that'll protect it a little bit longer the rest of it's okay because it's galvanized steel so I'm just cleaning the tyre up with a bit of soap and water, it's not that bad really the tyre. Just prepping it so I can repaint the inside of the tyre. So they're just our filled cans that I've got left over from a project on our little uh, camper van. So I'm just going to use these to spray the wheelbarrow. So that's the grey spray underneath. Um, if you wanted, you could unscrew all this frame um, and do it separately. I want to paint the frame black, but I'm going to spray it black. Um, so I'm just going to cover all the grey with uh, newspaper and then spray the frame black. That's covered. Now I'm going to spray it black. Okay, so. Just gonna let that dry and then I'll flip it over and spray the bits uh, I might have missed. Okay so I've just covered the inside of the tyre which I'd already sprayed grey and i um, just sprayed the outside of the tyre just to blacken it up a little bit more because it looks a bit, little bit worn. So I've just sprayed that black and I'll do the same on the other side in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to drill some holes in now, um, it's quite flat here but if you did have a slanted wheelbarrow obviously you're going to have to drill at the part where it slants down the deepest, um, but it's coming along nicely, just drill some holes in now. Oh that snapped. <laughs> Let's have a different drill then. Okay, so that's uh, a few holes in. The first one went wrong because I didn't realise there was a beam underneath that one. So make sure you check <laughs> what's underneath before you drill. So you've just got a few little holes in so the water can drain away. Okay, so I've just added some daisies. Really simple, really easy to do but quite effective on the wheelbarrow. And I've gone over with some spray varnish as well just to seal everything in. So now I'm just going to fill her. A layer of gravel. So I'm just going to empty some compost in. So before you take them out of the pots, it's worth just placing them about, seeing which position you want all your plants in. Um, obviously, I've put the tallest ones in the middle there, and the ones that are going to trail over the side of the wheelbarrow, I've put on the outsides here. Okay, so there we go in its place the plants will grow and eventually they will trail over the sides but it looks really nice I love it